In Tanzania, I began to answer the question, what does one health look like in practice? Improving food animal health to improve the health of farmers and consumers. Identifying environmental hotspots for emerging diseases in order to stay one step ahead. Using tourism as a tool for conservation in giraffe disease monitoring. Seeing a tiny bee as big enough to protect a farmer's crops from elephants in an ecologically friendly and income generating manner. Training rats to sniff out tuberculosis and landmines. Studying mosquito ecology and control to reduce malaria. <laughs> in Rwanda, I continue to answer the question, what does one health look like in practice? Addressing the different needs of dairy operations, big and small. Developing a community health worker program with incentives, like this pig farm, benefiting the entire village. Seeing an ex-poacher as a valuable force in guerrilla conservation, continuing Diane Fossey's legacy. Understanding culture and history to formulate lasting solutions. I brought this insight back to Tanzania, where I began my STAR project, seeking to understand the risk factors for bovine tuberculosis at intense human-livestock-wildlife interfaces. The field team forms relationships with the pastoralists, and education and veterinary treatments occur alongside research sampling. I traveled with my blood samples to the beautiful Sokoin University of Agriculture, where I learned how to make research work in places with limited resources and frequent power outages. With these results, we hope to develop recommendations for the pastoralist communities and public health organizations to decrease the risk of bovine tuberculosis transmission. A One Health approach can help protect the future of the magnificent yet vulnerable animals of East Africa.